In this video, we're going to show you some of the basic features found inside Pixel Creator Pro. Now, Pixel Creator Pro is an image layout and design tool for Photoshop to make the process so much easier than just using Photoshop alone. Even if we're an absolute Photoshop expert, Pixel Creator Pro is going to add a whole new series of tools that is going to make Photoshop work so much better for you. Now, there are lots of album design softwares out there in the marketplace and what we're going to try to demonstrate to you here is what makes Pixel Creator Pro special that you're not going to find in other album design softwares that are available. There's only a few that work directly inside Photoshop and that is one of the unique characteristics of Pixel Creator Pro but when you look at the design tools within the software compared to the design tools in the other programs that do work with Photoshop you'll see that none of them really quite match up to what we could do here inside Pixel Creator Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first let's talk about our new document tool. Pretty straightforward tool and of course we can create blank documents inside Photoshop but one of the unique uh, characteristics with Pixel Creator is number one we can have different categories of presets um, and we can create our own presets um, so for example I'm just gonna come in here and we'll do a 20 inch wide document we'll do 10 inches tall and then we'll set up some guidelines so for margins we're gonna do an eighth inch margin and a quarter inch margin and we're gonna click on the double page layout option and hit OK and we get a brand new document that's a 10 by 20 with eighth inch and quarter inch guidelines around the perimeter of the document as well as guidelines uh, showing you where the exact dead center horizontally and center of the left and right hand side of the page. So uh, very, very useful uh, compared to the Photoshop new document tool which just creates a blank document with no guidelines. Now, when you're working with Pixel Creator Pro, your first thing that you want to capture are these basic tools. I mean, there's lots of other tools available to you, but these few tools, Add Aperture, Merge Aperture, Break Apart, Color Bar, Stroke Outline, Insert Photo, Quick Divide, Auto Align Layers, and Guides, that's where you want to start learning the software. Once you have that all mastered, then you can explore all some of these other tools. But this is these tools right here will allow you to create just about any layout you can possibly imagine. So we're going to spend the next 10-15 minutes showing you uh, how some of these tools work together and some of the unique things you can do. So first things first, let's talk about the templates that come with Pixel Creator Pro because if you're new to album design, even if you're not new to album design, that may be a great place for you to start. So let's go ahead and come into some templates. All of our templates are broke down by number of image openings. So this particular category is broke down to three image openings. So we're just going to double click on a template and whatever page size we have currently open here inside Photoshop the template is automatically going to be scaled to that page size and then once the template is created it gives us the option to insert photos into the layout now in this case I'm just going to choose no I'm going to set my background color to black and now you can see what that layout looks like it's a really nice layout now I can from here I can make any changes I want so for example I could use Photoshop to resize an image opening I could duplicate the resized image opening, kind of reposition it, and now I can go ahead and populate these image openings. I'm just going to populate two. So I select two image openings. I come in here, I'll select two images here in Adobe Bridge, and when I hit insert photo, one by one, each one of those images will automatically be scaled to fit those image openings. So there's the first one. I double click to accept its placement and it automatically moves on to the next image opening. And there is our second image. And then let's go ahead and insert an image in the upper right hand corner. And we'll use this image here. Just to kind of show you uh, how quick and easy it is to quickly generate these layouts. Now one of the features that we're really excited about is the ability to switch an image from one opening to another. So I'm going to select two image openings. So we'll do the one here on the, on the left and we'll switch it with the one here on the right. So I come under layout tools and choose swap image and Pixel Creator will automatically flip flop those two images for us. So it's automatically going to go back to the original high res file, 
resize it for the new window size and then it's automatically going to move on and replace the other image back over here to the left. So even if we're an absolute Photoshop expert, there's no way that our hands can move that quickly on the keyboard uh, to be able to perform that task. So having that tool available to you here inside Photoshop is going to make your design process so much easier. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go back into our new document tool. We'll hit clear fields and let's do a 7 inch wide document by 5 inches tall. So we created a new blank 5 by 7. So when I come in here to my templates, we're going to go back to that same template. Because I have a 5 by 7 document open, that same template is automatically going to be scaled to fit our 5 by 7 document. So we'll come in, convert our background to black, and you can see that now I could use that same exact template for maybe doing a graduation announcement for a high school senior. So lots of flexibility when you're working with templates. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go back in and create another new document. Again, we'll go back to our 20 by 10. We'll click on our double page layout option and hit OK. And there is our default setup. Now, from there, from working with templates, you may want to design something completely from scratch. And there's lots of ways to design with Pixel Creator Pro. Let's talk about the most fundamental way, and that is using the Insert Photo tool. So any selection that we make can be converted into an image opening. So we simply make a selection, come into Bridge, select an image, and when I hit Insert Photo, that image is automatically going to be scaled to the size of the current selection. A new image layer is created, and a layer mask is also added, and our image is inserted. If I make a square selection, and I were to select a different image, then that image is automatically going to be resized to fit into my square. Now it doesn't get much easier than that. Anyone can figure that out. Uh, just make a selection, drop your image in. Your selection is defining the area that you want to fill with your image. So what if I wanted to select, insert a texture file into the background and take up the entire canvas? I just select the entire canvas. I come in here. I grab a texture file. I hit insert photo. And because I selected the entire canvas, our texture is resized to fit the entire canvas. And there it is. Now I'm going to use Photoshop to recolor the texture and I'm going to do that using the hue and saturation adjustment option and I'm going to hit colorize and I'm going to increase my saturation decrease my lightness to make it a nice dark red color I'm then going to make a selection set my foreground color to white and choose color bar and you can see what happened. It just created a new layer called color bar. I'm actually going to lower my fill opacity on my color bar, something like so. We're going to go ahead and clear out our guidelines for this example. And then I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to hold down my shift key and just be a little crazy and make a couple of more selections just because I can. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab an image and hit insert photo. And because I have multiple areas selected, that image that I'm going to insert is going to fill in all those little areas. I'm going to actually flip it horizontally. See, now how fun is that? Just making that quick, simple adjustment really quite useful. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a selection like so. And I'm going to use my Quick Divide tool to divide this selection horizontally by three image openings with a quarter inch selection. And I'm going to hit Divide. And then you can see what I have. I have three image openings going horizontally. So I'm going to select these three image openings, come into Adobe Bridge, and select three images, and hit Insert Photo. And then one by one, each one of those images will be resized to fit this layout. So now I have my images in place. 
And now that those images are in place, I'm actually going to flip-flop these two images. So we'll come in here and choose Swap Selected Images, because I would prefer, I think it just would balance out a little bit better. Being how uh, this image is a little bit different uh, look than the other two images on either side, I just think it would balance out a little bit better. So we'll let Photoshop flip-flop those two images. And you can see that really looks great. Now we'll use a little design tool uh, here inside Pixel Creator Pro called Stroke Outline. And we're going to do an offset of a quarter of an inch. And we'll position it to the bottom and hit Process. And that's just going to create a stroke outline around those three image openings. We'll bump up the width of that stroke outline to be maybe 10 pixels. And you can see we have a nice little stroke outline all the way around those three image openings. And such a little design element actually is a very complicated process to get it perfect. But because we have that function here inside Pixel Creator Pro, it's actually very, very easy to, to, to manage. So let's go ahead and delete this. Let me show you another example of um, what, what we might want to do. Let's go ahead and make a square selection. And we'll use this quick divide tool. And we're going to divide vertically by three with a quarter inch spacing and horizontally three with a quarter inch spacing. We're going to create image layers and create guidelines. And we'll go ahead and create nine individual image openings. And what we're going to do here is actually delete some of the squares. And then we're going to free transform a square. And because we have these guidelines to snap to, now you can see what kind of configuration we have over here. I'm actually going to select all of those layers. And we're going to choose another tool, which is our color bar tool. And like the stroke outline tool, we're going to offset 3 eighths of an inch to the bottom. And that's going to create a new layer below all of these layers, exactly 3 eighths of an inch to the outside edge. And we're just going to lower the fill opacity to create a little interesting effect. And then let's go into layer styles. And let's go ahead and add just a little black key line around uh, that layer. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And so now we have a nice little um, kind of just a little extra little added design element to it. Now I'm actually going to take all these layers and choose the Merge Aperture tool. And what that does is it actually combines all of those layers into one new layer. And I'm going to insert an image into that newly created layer. So when I hit Insert Photo, because I merged those all into one layer, that image is going to cascade across all of those image openings and actually create a really neat effect for us, kind of this little window pane effect. So you can see we create a really interesting layout just using a couple of features uh, here inside Pixel Creator Pro. Let's go ahead and go back to making an oval shape here. We'll make kind of a round shape, more or less. And then I'm going to go into quick mask mode and choose Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Give a nice 200 pixel blur. Exit out of quick mask mode by hitting the Q key on my keyboard and then coming into bridge and selecting an image and hit insert photo. And what you're going to find is when it inserts this image, because we use that Gaussian blur in quick mask mode, we're going to have a nice soft edge effect to this image. So it just creates a really interesting uh, little design element. Now I can keep going and going and going. Um, but let me just show you another uh, fun little uh, design option for us. I'm going to use my rectangle tool in Photoshop. This is a vector drawing tool. I'm going to draw out a rectangle. Simple enough so far, right? I'm going to use uh, one of our photo perk design elements. I'm going to come in here to my custom shape tool. And let's choose our photo perks edge flourishes. Now these are a series of vector sh shapes that work here inside Photoshop create all kinds of dazzling effects to our images. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and click and drag. That will add this shape to the current rectangle, as you see there. Now I'm going to insert my image. So we'll come back in here and we'll drop in our photo. And you'll see that this image is now going to fill in my rectangle and my little floral design element. It's automatically going to be scaled to fit. 
and I'll flip it horizontally. And you can see what a great uh, effect that has. So that just kind of gives you just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the design tools that you'll find here in Pixel Creator Pro. And it really is that easy. I'm not using any special smoke and mirrors. It really is that easy. So it takes the power of Photoshop in combination with the automated design tools here inside Pixel Creator Pro. And the two together really can't be beat when it comes to album design. When we have lots of video tutorials that go much more in depth than each of our design tools so you understand all the ins and outs, they'll probably put you to sleep. But truly, if you really want to learn about album design, there's a lot of great Photoshop tips in those video tutorials and you'll get a better understanding of how each one of our tools work, all the various options that are available to you. So when you're doing your album layouts, not only will you be a lot more creative, but you'll get your work done a whole lot faster and you'll really stand out from the competition. I appreciate taking the time to watch and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.